uh, for the 31st time in franchise history of their they, the previous 30 times they went to the playoffs, they made it to the final four, four times, uh, in 81, 86, 89 and 04. You'll notice that three of those three of those times are all sort of in the same decade because uh, simply put, Cliff Fletcher was really good at uh, building a hockey club. The other one was 04, uh, many, many years after that, because in between the Flames had some challenges building a hockey club. And 04 was in part because, you know, I, I know we give Daryl Sutter a lot of credit for the 04 team and he deserves it. He was a really good coach in 04. And as we've learned now, he's a really good coach in 2022. Uh, but the, he uh, he did a good job building and filling in the gaps in the the 04 Flames. Uh, he you know he he came in and took over for Craig Button, who took over for Al Coates. And I think a lot of the things that Coates and Craig or, and Craig Button did as GM, you know, I think Craig Button is, I think Craig Button's fairly maligned as a, a general manager. He was yeah. he he was an excellent. AGM. If you have him in charge of your scouting, you're doing pretty well. If he's running the show. He, he's there's a reason probably why he hasn't gotten another job. I think part of that is maybe he doesn't want to do it because that's a stressful job. Brad for living will tell you it's a stressful job being a, being a, a, a general manager. But I think, you know, you got to give credit where it's due for the 04 team. And I think if you look at the flames now, you know, give credit where it's due, you know, there's, there's what, there's two players. I think I saw this. There's two players left in the flames team that, uh, that beat the Vancouver Canucks in 2015. So out of the, Back and Gaudreau? Yeah. Backlund Gaudreau. Okay, Monaghan. Monaghan, yes, but Monaghan's Monaghan, injured, so Monaghan's done. But he won't be playing. Uh, and the, the, um, the, the, uh, before, yeah. even, even last season, like the, there was, yeah, the, there were three players still in the organization from when Daryl's or from when Brad Philippic took over in 2014. So this is, mm-hmm. a, this is the team that Brad built. And, you know, you can say whatever you want about decisions, this, this, that, or the other thing. He's made, you know, he's built two really good hockey clubs in 19 and 22 the 19 team didn't really do much of anything in the postseason and for various reasons and the 22 team yet to be determined but i mean credit where it's due i mean it's when you get when you get letters next to your name in the standings you deserve to take a bow i don't think they're going to take a particularly deep bow uh the the flame is very famously shane do you remember the do you remember the 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 ceremony they had for the 2019 division title banner no, because they didn't do one because they were kind of mad that they were that good in the regular season and did so little in the playoffs. So who knows? They just what, put it up there and didn't tell anybody. They, they put it up in the preseason and made no mention of it, uh, which is kind of it, funny, which is kind of, but you know, I think if I like it though, if you were dissatisfied, if you were as a fan listening to this and were like, man, that 2019 season left a bad taste in my mouth. You're not the only one. The, the, I think organizationally, like they, it was, I think both in hockey ops and in marketing across the board, no one really had a, a burning desire to put up that banner with much ballyhoo or fanfare because they felt that they had let themselves down. So the, regardless of what happens in the next two weeks to two months, hopefully whatever happens is worth holding some sort of a ceremony over because, you know, if, if you go down swinging, cool, put up a banner. If you go down without much of a fight, maybe don't. They uh, they refer to nineteen all the time too. Uh, Daryl specifically goes. Oh, yeah. and one of my favorite Jeff Jeff Ward quotes because when he took over, he's like, "We tried being a scoring team. We don't want to do that anymore." Right? Like now that's taken. I I specifically was one person that completely took that in the wrong way. Like you need to score goals the way I, I get what he was saying. Defense first. Like you can't just run up the ice and then not worry about what happens in your own end. But just the quote. Uh, yeah, we tried being a scoring team. We and, don't want to do that anymore. 